Coming up on Look Today, the Caldwell Presbyterian Church in Lake George will host a Christmas dinner in collaboration with the Inn at Earla West. I've got details. And the Adirondack Folk School will expand its course curriculum in the Glens Falls area. More on that coming up. And a rally is scheduled to take place outside Congresswoman Elise Stefanik's office in Glens Falls on health care reform. I've got those details. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson, and this is Look Today. Well, in tonight's program, I sit down with Ed Bartholomew. He's the president of Warren County EDC. He's here to give us updates on economic development in Glens Falls, specifically the expansion of the Broadband Connection Initiative. I also sit down with Kathy Hedgman. Now, she's the vice president of After the Fire, Inc., and she's here to talk about her organization's work that collects donations to help victims of house fires. Now, this is part three in our Look Who Cares series. Plus, we have your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, the Caldwell Presbyterian Church in Lake George will host a dinner on Christmas Day for those without family, or for that matter, any individuals. Volunteers from the church, as well as the chef and staff from the inn at Earl of West will provide the dinner at some dinner. So we spoke to Helene Horn, She's a member of the church, and Allie Trowbridge, the pastor. Well, the holiday dinner here is on Christmas Day at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and we have it because we like to give people who uh, may live alone or live in a small family a place that they can come and share dinner with us. The dinner is, is just um, a chance to celebrate what the Christian community um, is all about, which is love. And it's not just for people who may not be able to prepare a, a full spread on Christmas Day. Um, it's, for, it's for everybody. Wow. Now, the church, by the way, is located at 71 Montcalm Street, and dinner will be served at 4 p.m. Well, we also spoke to my friend Frank Dietrich. He's the general manager for the Inn at Earl of West. Well, I think it's, it's a lot. It's an opportunity. We're part of uh, the Lake George community. It gives us a chance to give back. Um, our chefs enjoy putting together a Christmas Day meal for a lot of folks that otherwise would not perhaps be able to enjoy um, that kind of food. In other news, well, the Adirondack Folk School will soon be expanding their course offerings in the Glens Falls area. And this happened because recently students of the folk school created canoes at the shirt factory in Glens Falls. Now, because of the success of that class, the shirt factory has offered to lease studio space to the school. Now, this will allow the folk school to expand their classes. We spoke to Scott Hayden. He's the executive director of the folk school. The, uh, the shirt factory offered us this wonderful space um, to hold this class, which worked out really well for our instructor and our students. The, um, the instructor loved the space because they had, uh, it was a completely controlled environment and uh, they're going to, we're expanding our classes to that same space as well for 2017. They want, the, the, the shirt factory wants us there and, and it's great for us to get our word out there, especially uh, in that community and hopefully we'll, we'll get a few more students, a few more instructors out of it. That's a great environment for the school to uh, hold those classes, by the way. All right, switching from news to weather. Today saw temperatures in the teens. Let's see how the week is shaping up. For a more detailed look at our weather, let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. And back to the news. Well, Christmas is upon us, and many are preparing for the holiday season. And members of the Presbyterian New England Congregational Church in Saratoga went caroling over the weekend. And they visited a number of nursing homes in the area. Now, the carolers encouraged the residents to, to par participate in the holiday cheer, and word has it, they did. In other news, well, a rally will take place tomorrow at Glens Falls outside Congresswoman Elise Stefanik's office. 
Demonstrators are asking Elise Stefanik to support the Affordable Care Act. Well, we spoke to Al Ornsby. He's a co-organizer for that rally. A rally yeah, is yeah. taking place uh, in front of uh, Representative Stefanik's office, which is 136 Glen Street in Glens Falls at 5 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, people are going to be speaking out and, and saying, Representative Stefanik, don't take our health care. Well, uh, tough topic. Let's leave it at that. Up next, I sit down with Ed Bartholomew. He's the president of the Warren County EDC. He's here to give us updates on economic development in the county, and specifically the expansion of the broadband connection. Plus, I also sit down with Kathy Hedgeman. She's the vice president of After the Fire, Inc. She's here. They talk about her organization's work that collects donations to help victims of house fires. This is part three of our Look Who Cares series. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea. How about join us for an interview? Well, you can give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. Well, I've got a couple of lookouts. It's Monday, so I like to do Look Ahead. And just a reminder, this is a very short week for us. We're only working through Wednesday. Then we take off till the Tuesday after New Year's, okay? So we're going to get a lot of stuff done between now and then. Uh, we will be at that rally tomorrow at Elise Stefanis Glens Falls office, so we will report back to you on that. Uh, Cheryl Hage Perez is coming in tomorrow for vet help as part of our Look Who Cares uh, series. And uh, last but not least, a couple of viewers stopped me while I was Christmas shopping. Now you know what that's like. You're trying to concentrate. You're trying to figure out what you're going to buy. But I look over, and this guy says, hey, my wife and I really enjoy your interviews. Now I hear that a lot when I'm out and about, and I really appreciate it because we try hard with our interviews. It's Lorraine and Gary, and they own that great ice cream parlor called Sprinkles. And if you don't know about Sprinkles, you should. It's right next to the Glenwood Manor as you get off of exit 19 and head east. And truth be told, I've been known to get a malt in there. All right, so Gary, Lorraine, thank you for watching. All right, tonight on Look TV, it's beyond the headlines, then play-by-play -play basketball. And don't forget, tune in tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone.